And Isaiah 6 gives us a picture of revival. Check it out. Verse 1, it was in the year King Uzziah died, and I saw the Lord, Isaiah says, I saw, I saw the Lord. I saw him high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple, and, and he, was, he was attended by mighty seraphim, these heavenly creatures. We don't even really know what that's supposed to look like, but they've got six wings, and it's this, it's this mind-blowing vision of who the Lord is, and they're, they're singing out, holy, holy, holy. It's this holy scene, and it's in that it's in light of that, that, that Isaiah sees the Lord in this mind-blowing way, that Isaiah then sees himself differently. That's revival. Listen to this. He says, it's all over. I'm doomed for I'm a sinful man. Isaiah sees the Lord and he immediately realizes I, 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 I'm going to like burn up in the presence of the, the, this is too holy for me. I'm too much of a sinful man. I have filthy lips. I, I live among people with filthy lips. There's nothing about me good enough to see the Lord like this. Ah, but this is the graciousness of our God. Verse seven, Isaiah says, he touched my lips. This, this mighty God touched my lips with a burning coal. He sent one of those heavenly beings to touch my lips with this hot burning coal. And this coal has, has touched your lips, the Lord says. Your guilt is removed. Your guilt is removed and your sins are forgiven. And so Isaiah says, I saw the Lord, and in light of what I saw, I knew I needed, my sins had to be forgiven. And that's not even the end of the story. Verse eight, then I heard the Lord asking this question, very important question for revival. This is revival. Whom should I send as a messenger to this people? Who will go for us? And Isaiah said, here I am, send me. And the Lord said, yes, go, go and say this to the people. And he gives him a message of prophecy. Here's a revival. Revival is seeing the Lord for who he is. And in light of that, seeing me for who I am. And then understanding that the Lord will make of me what I can't make of myself, so that I might declare to the world, there is a God who is good, and he's good to sinners like me and like you. That's revival. Seeing the Lord for who he is, seeing me for who I am, but then the Lord making me capable of what I can't do on my own to show the world the glory of God, the goodness of God, the grace of God, the mercy of God, the forgiveness of God. That's revival. And I pray that you'd experience just a little glimpse of it today. But I want to encourage you, pray, pray for the church, pray for Christian Assembly, pray for your local church, pray for believers all over the world to really see the Lord for who he is. Lord, let us see you for who you are. And Lord, in light of who you are, we will see our sin. We'll see who we are. And we'll see what you can make of us by your mercy. Lord, would you make of us more than we can make on our own? Even today, help us to be people whose lives demonstrate and declare your mercy and the good news of your love that has come to us through Jesus Christ, that my sins are forgiven and I live a new life with you, God. Let it be, let it be known through me, even as I know you better, even as I know myself better. Help me to know how to share your gospel with those who need your hope. We pray in Jesus' name, and together we say, amen.